Hi, hello friends. Welcome to my channel, The Voice of Nurse. Today my topic is NHM 2022 Staff Nurse Questions and Answers with Detailed Explanation. Before moving on to topic, small request friends, please subscribe my channel. Click on the bell icon for further notification. Please like a video and subscribe my channel. Because about questions and answers, detailed explanation. Now, question number one. The main steps to be done by a first aider in emergency situation. What is the steps will come in first aid? Option A, make the area safe. Option B, evaluate the injured patient condition. Option C, seek help. Option D, all of the above. Here we have to know what is the first aid. When you provide medical care to someone experiencing a sudden injury or illness is known as first aid. This is the first aid means example CPR. Here question main steps. Here they asked about main step means safety is the first. Check response. Seek help. Quick assessment of victim condition. So here answer will come all of the above option A make the safe area evaluate the injured patient condition seek help so here option D is the correct answer all of the above next move on to question number 2 all of the following are aims of first aid except means in this following options one is the wrong option means option A to preserve life option B to prevent injury option c to promote recovery option d to help to ensure safe transportation here you can see the aims to ensure open airway adequate ventilation to maintain circulation until help comes and treat with als als means advanced life support can be administered so here prevent injury is not there in option also prevent injury is there so means option b is the Correct answer. Option B is not there in aims. Next move on to question number 3. A person who is on in dwelling catheter expresses her need to urinate. Which of the following nursing intervention needs to be done for the patient? Option A. Take her to restroom. Option B. Check the patency of catheter. Option C. Reassure that she cannot avoid option d collect specimen for urine analysis this condition as a nurse we have to check the catheter means option b is the correct answer check the patency of catheter if it is there any blockage in the catheter should be flushed by a catheter in tubing check the position of the catheter and drainage bag should be maintained below the bladder level of the patient in case patient is lying position, patient is standing position, patient is sitting position. Any position it will be there. Patient sh should be catheter um, drainage bag should be in the below the bladder level. This is the option B is the correct answer. Check the patiency of catheter. Next question. Mont next question. Question number 4. A newborn that is above the 19th. 19 percentile on the intrauterine growth curve is termed. You can see the options first. Option A, post term baby. Option B, large for gestational age. Option C, small for gestational age. Option D, preterm baby. Here we can see the in question 19 percentile on the intrauterine growth curve means intrauterine growth curve are the standard for the assessing the growth of preterm infants. And also widely used in the newborn ICU settings areas. Option B is the correct answer large for gestational age. In these cases, this scale will be used for assessing the intrauterine growth. Next question. Question number 5. The nurse administering injection ceftriaxone 1.5 gram intravenously for bacterial meningitis patient. One wall contains one gram. She has dissolved in medicine into vials of injection septioxin. Each wall contains one gram. She used 10 ml of normal saline. How much volume she needs to administer? Don't confuse friends. Here option we will see the options. Option A 20 ml. Option B 15 ml. Option C 10 ml. Option D is 5 ml. 
Don't confuse friends. Read the question properly. Here, doctor has advised 1.5 gram intravenously. So, she mixed the two vials of septrioxin means 2 grams injection in 10 ml, 10 ml means 20 ml of NS. Here, advised 1.5 grams means option B is the correct answer, 15 ml. Because of 20 ml is 2 grams. So, advised 1.5 grams means we have to give 15 ml. 5 ml will be we have to stop 5 ml NS with septrioxin medicine. Option B. Answer. Next. Question number 6. Which is the solution for spillage of blood on the floor? Option A. 2% sodium hypochlorite. Option B. Phenol mixer. Option C. Cdex. Option D. Formalin. Actually, we have to know what is the purpose when we are using these solutions? Not only options, if uh, correct answer. Option A is the correct answer here. Phenol mixed. Option B, phenol mixed means we are using phenol mixed in plastics and related to plastic materials. Option C, CDEX. CDEX is used for the sterilization, mainly used for the instrument sterilization. Sterilization of instruments. Option D, formalin. Formalin is the Mm, in the medical laboratories uh, for the preservating in foods also. Option A, 2% sodium is the correct answer. The 2% chloride is an antimicrobial agent necessary for use on blood and body fluids. Preparation should be done in the immediately before using. And then after we have to discard the Solution. Option A is the correct answer. 2%. Two percent hypochloride is the correct answer. Next, move on to question number 7. Tightness of the no steelomastoid mozzle resulting in the child's head being tilted to one side result. Option A. Blonde's disease. Option B. Taticolis. Option C. Botulinism. Option D. Plagiocephaly. Actually, this is the inherited disease. We can see the options first. Blonde's disease means it is, can be found in the children's growth platelets around the knee. Abnormality will be there. Option B. It is a inherited disorder. We can see rare condition which can be neck muscle contract. The main, um, main cause will be head to be twist one side. Okay, friends. Option B is the correct answer. We can see the option C also. Botulinism. Botulinism is an anaerobic bacterium. Means it can be grow the absence of oxygen. And also occurs in the uh, toxins contains in the um, botulism toxin contains inhalation or food intake of botulism toxins. And option D. Plagiocephaly means the head will be flattened one side. Okay friends. Here, option B is the correct answer. In this case, the baby or child head muscle will be contract and causing of head fist to the one side. Option B is the correct answer. Next, move on to question number 8. The following syndrome is triggered by the use of salicylates results in brain swellings and liver failure. Option A, botulism. Option B, rare syndrome. Option C, Down syndrome. Option D, inborn errors of metabolism. Actually, in previous question also, we got the option A. Botulism means the um, growth platelets will be around the knee. This is the abnormal condition in child. What is the rare syndrome? Rare syndrome is a um, serious condition causes the confusion, swelling in the brain and liver damage. Option C, Down syndrome, it is also called as trisomy 21, it is a genetical disorder, uh, abnormal cells will, division will be there. Option D, associated with inborns of metabolism is associated with the improper rate genetical disorder, improper digestion of the food and food particles. You can know answer now, rare syndrome, rare syndrome is the 
serious condition caused by confusion swelling and brain and liver damage here asked about brain swelling and liver damage means river failure option b is the correct answer next we will move to the question number 9 a newborn is meconium stained meconium present in the mouth no breathing heart rate is 80 per minute immediate management will be done means option a intubation option b cardiopulmonary resuscitation option c warmth and suction option c oxygen administration immediately we had to do the suction because first position is from the baby then do the suction second position we have to do administer the oxygen next position means third position we have to monitor the vitals then there is no breathing move on to the cardiopulmonary resuscitation then intubation will be done according to the priority we have to do in this case option c is the correct answer from thyroid suction next move on to question number 10 deficiency of thiamine results in the all of the above following actually i have to mention except deficiency of thiamine result in all of the following except following means i did mistake friends add following except in the options option a peripheral neuritis option b stunted growth option c cardiac beriberi option d and infantile beriberi first about option peripheral neuritis peripheral neuritis also called as peripheral neuropathy in these cases the patient will having weakness numbness pain from the nerve damage and also usually they will receive, um, feel um, numbness and uh, uh, weakness in the numbs and feet main cause is diabetes next uh, stunted growth stunted growth means impairment of growth and development in these children experiencing regarding poor receiving poor nutrition and also repeated infection also there cause in advocate psychological stimulation also one of the cause next see the option c cardiac beriberi cardiac beriberi means decrease the cardiac function next infantile beriberi the mm, infantile beriberi the mother having thyroid means thiamine deficiency they baby infant will be develop the automatically infant baby will develop the infantile beriberi option b is the correct answer stunted growth next move on to question number 11 the functions of proteins are all of the following except option a body building option b repair and maintenance of body tissues option c synthesis of antibodies option d prevent synthesis and coagulation factor actually here we have to know what is the functions of proteins not only options we have to know the what are the um, functions will be there functions will be there the protein oxygen transportation proteins as enzymes defensive enzyme and helps your body repair cell and make new one and development also growth and development will be there and transportation and storage here option d is the correct answer prevent synthesis and coagulation factor is not there in functions of proteins option d is the correct answer next move on to question number 12 the volume of air that moves in and out with each breath is called as means for a breath how much we are intaking out taking according to that each breath is called as option a residual volume option b tidal volume option c expiratory reserve volume option d inspiratory reserve volume we will see the options first here what is the residual volume the residual volume of air remaining in the lungs after expiration means after expiration of the air remaining will be there that is called as residual volume option b what is the tidal volume tidal volume means uh, how much air we are taking and out breathing is called as tidal volume here option is b is the correct answer next option c expiratory reserve volume what is the expiratory reserve volume means the amount of extra air after breath out means after breath out remaining volume will be called expiratory what is the inspiratory reserve volume option d amount of air a person can inhale and forcefully after normal the 
inspiration this is called as inspiratory reserve value option b is the correct answer tidal value next move on to question number 13 the functions of halophian tube are following except option a sterilization option b transportation of gems option c nutting zygote option d implantation of zygote actually in this question paper in hm 2022 question paper actually asked regarding following except following except observe here friends so many questions are there like this you will see the answer option d is the correct answer implantation of zygote fertilization and implantation are the most critical events in the reproduction process the fallopian tube is channel for the main function of the fallopian tube is channel for the transportation and fertilization transportation and fertilization of the zygote implantation of zygote is correct answer option d move on to question number 14 the causes of fetal tachycardia are all of the following except option a maternal or fetal anemia option b maternal or fetal infection option c fetal compromise option d fetal hypoxia and acidosis first we will see the options maternal or fetal anemia maternal or fetal anemia in this cases having infection fever dehydration and anxiety maternal or fetal infection means maternal hypothyroidism or maternal related to the diabetics conditions option c fetal compromise means fetal distress will be there related to the compromise means fetus due to the poor nutritional supply and oxygen supply also means the option d is the correct answer fetal hypoxia acidosis is the except condition of the tachycardia means here there is no related to the cardiac issues option d is the correct answer next we will move the question number 15 first prime minister abortion is done by using all of the following methods except option a manual vacuum aspiration option b suction evacuation option c dilatation and evacuation option d hysterectomy means actually manual vacuum is the using of the vacuum sources to remove the embryo and fetus the suction evacuation is the minor procedure those are temporary and minor procedures then dilatation and curet is also is the minor procedure hysterectomy is the permanent uh, hysterectomy is a permanent procedure so answer is the hysterectomy it is a surgical procedure to remove the um, womb and uterus here regarding asked first trimester abortion is done using all of the following method except means manual vacuum aspiration will be done that is the minor procedure suction evacuation also one of the procedure in this pro, um, first prime minister dilatation evacuation also is a one of the procedure hysterectomy is except the answer option d okay friends move on to question number 16 sorry friends actually we have to continue 16 question but here by mistakely came to 17th question we will see the 17 then we will see the 16th question 17th question is the fetal membrane that does not have any blood supply no supply or any lymphatic supply is option a chorion option b amnion option c chorion and amnion option d none of the above what is the chorion we will see the double layered membrane surrounding the embryo of the mammal and bird reptile here amnion also it is the one of the innermost layer chorion is the outermost layer chorion and amnion means it is the wrong answer option b is the correct answer it is the innermost membrane that encloses the embryo of the mammal and bird and reptile means option b is the correct answer amnion i will mention 16th question in last friends next move on to question number 18th the causes of hyperparathyroidism include as all of the following except option a hyperkalemia option b chronic renal failure option c hyperphosphatemia option d hypolipidemia what is the hypercalcemia increased calcium levels in the blood second option b chronic renal failure in impairment of the kidney function 
ऑप्शन सी हाइपर पासपोर्टिमिया मीन्स टू मच ऑफ फॉस्पेट्स इन द ब्लड कॉजेस ऑफ दी हाइपर पार हाइपर थैराइडिजम एंड हाइपर पैरा थैराइडिजम किडनी डिसीजे रेस्परेटरी एक्सरोसिस दीज ऑल आर द कंडीशन विल कम ऑप्शन डी हाइपोलिपिडीमिया इज द करेक्ट आंसर हाइपोलिपिडीमिया इज क्या काजड बाय द म्यूटेशंस इन द जीन्स द एक्सेप्ट दिस आंसर दिस फर्स्ट थ्री इज द इंक्लूड इन द हाइपर पैरा थैराइडिजम मीन्स हाइपोलिपिडीमिया इज द करेक्ट आंसर नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट मूव ऑन टू क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइनटीन सिफिलीज इज कॉजड बै ऑप्शन ए स्टेफेलोकोकस ऑप्शन बी स्ट्रेप्टोकोकस ऑप्शन सी ट्रेपोनिमा पैलोडियम ऑप्शन डी नैन ऑफ दि एबो ऑप्शन सी इज द करेक्ट आंसर ट्रेपोनिमा पैलाडियम इन दि स्ट्रेपेलोकोकस एंड स्ट्रेप्टोकोकस दोज टू बैक्टीरियस रेस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर दि पैथोजेनसी आफ वेरइटी कंडीशन फर् एग्जापल वूंड इनफेक्ष एंड वूंड हीलिंग सिस्ट फैब्रोसीस मस्टिस द ट्रैफोनिय पेलाडियम ईज गेट द ब्रोकन स्किन एंड म्यूक मेम्रेन मीन दिस इज द बैक्टीरियम द वूंड विल बी मीन इन दिस केस ब्रोकन स्किन विल बी देर दट ईज आलो सेक्सुअली ट्रांसमिटेड डिसडर in the human beings syphilis is the std sexually transmitted disease option c is the correct answer trypanosoma pallidum next move on to question number 20 vaginal swatting are bleeding in between menses is called as we will see the options option a premenstrual syndrome option b menorrhagia option c मेट्रॉर्जी ऑप्शन डी डिस्मेनोरिया ऑप्शन सी इज द करेक्ट आंसर वी विल सी द ऑप्शन व्हाट इज द प्री मेन्शुअल सिंड्रोम प्री मेन्शुअल सिंड्रोम मीन्स इट इज ए मंथली पैटर्न ऑफ द सिम्टम्स दैट स्टार्ट्स अबाउट ए वीक और टू वीक्स बिफोर द पीरियड दिस इज अनरिलेटेड नेक्स्ट व्हाट इज मेनोर्जिया मेनोर्जिया मीन्स हैवी ब्लीडिंग इंक्लूड्स द प्रोलॉन्ग्ड मेन्शुअल पीरियड्स ऑप्शन सी मेट्रोजिया मेट्रोजिया मीन्स bleeding from the uterus occurs in between the periods in question vaginal spotting or bleeding in between menses option c is the correct answer metrogia bleeding from the uterus occurs in between the periods option d we will see dysmenorrhea means the pelvic cramps will be there in this dysmenorrhea and pain in the during menstruation is the correct dysmenorrhea meaning option c metrogia is the correct answer bleeding from the uterus in between the menses next move on to question number 21 the dilatation and varicosity of the pampini form plexus within the scrotum is called as option a hydrocil option b hematocil option c spermatocil option d varicocil we will see the options hydrocil hydrocil means fluid filled sac around the testicles okay option b hematocil means accumulation of the blood between the tunica vaginalis option c spermatocil means fluid filled cyst development we can see the top of the testicles option d varicocil enlargement of the veins within the loose bulk of the testicular skin option d is the correct answer varicocele dilatation of the enlargement and dilatation of the veins in the testicles option d is the correct answer varicocele next move on to question number 22 yes steroid hormone that helps prepare the endometrium to receive and implant the fertilizer ovum is option a estrogen option b post progesterone option c estrogen option d is prolactin actually related to the fertilizer ovum option a is not comes under the female means estrogen is combined means male and female having estrogen no okay next option b progesterone option c estrogen option d prolactin these three will come in this three correct answer is b progesterone estrogen prolactin both are the um both secreted by the pituitary gland this is related to the breast milk production and uh, this will be answer is the 
प्रोजेस्टिरन प्रोजेस्टिरन हार्मोन इज द एंडोजीनस स्टेरॉइड एंड प्रोजेस्टिरन इज अ सेक्स हार्मोन इन्वॉल्व इन द मेंस्ट्रुअल साइकिल प्रेगनेंसी एम्ब्रियोजेनेसिस सो प्रोजेस्टिरन हार्मोन इज सेक्रेटेड बाय द कॉर्पस लूटियम सो दैट्स व्हाई द इंप्लांट ऑफ द फर्टिलाइज्ड ओवम रिसीव्स इनटू द एंडोमेट्रियम इज द प्रोजेस्टिरन आंसर इज स्टेरॉइड हार्मोन इज प्रोजेस्टिरन ऑप्शन बी नेक्स्ट मूव ऑन टू क्वेश्चन नंबर 23 adult patient is categorized as oligouric acute renal failure when is urine output is option a less than 200 ml option b less than 400 ml option c less than 500 ml option d less than 600 ml option b is the correct answer less than 400 ml is called as decreased urine output is called as oligouria in previous 2023 means actually i did previous video 2023 nhm exam in that question paper also this question is there you can see the previous videos my previous videos option b is the correct answer less than 400 ml move on to question number 24 hyperactive bowel sounds is called as option a tensimus ऑप्शन बी बोर्बोर्गिमस ऑप्शन सी हेमटोचेजिया ऑप्शन डी हेमटोजेनेसिस हियर ऑप्शन बी इज द करेक्ट आंसर बिफोर करेक्ट आंसर वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट ऑप्शन विल सी द ऑप्शन ए टेंसमस टेंसमस मींस फीलिंग दैट यू नीड पास स्टोल्स इवन योर बॉल इज एम्प्टी ऑलरेडी इज एम्प्टी बट यू आर फीलिंग पास टू स्टोल ऑप्शन बी दिस इज द टेंसमस ऑप्शन बी बोर्बोमस इज ए refer to the characteristics of growling and rumbling sounds that in the stomachs and intestines it will be make sounds food and fluid sounds will be there this is the causes will be diarrhea in diarrhea cases we see the this condition this is the correct answer hyper active bowel sounds you will see option c what is the hematochezia hematochezia means fresh blood passes through the anal usually with stool hematomimesis means vomiting with mixed blood and or only blood will pass i think okay friends option b is the correct answer borgumus borgumus means something sounds will be there in the intestine makes food and fluids example case is diarrhea move on to question number 25 excessive sleepiness is called as option a insomnia option b narcolepsy option c somnambulism option d none of the above actually insomnia means poor sleeping habits somnambulism means sleep walking for means sleep walking it is also called as somnambulism narcolepsy is the correct answer chronic sleep disorder that causes daytime drowsiness that person will be continuously in daytime drowsiness they are having drowsiness this is the sleep disorder causes will be drowsiness one of the drowsiness also one of the cause they are having continuous in the day time drowsy narcolepsy is the correct answer question number 26 pain as a result of inflammation caused by the production of all of these except option a histamine option b bradykinin option c prostaglandin in option d melatonin what is the histamine histamine works with the nerves produces the itching option b anti inflammatory airway disease option c prostaglandin is primarily at sites of the tissue damage and infection option d is the correct answer melatonin melatonin is a natural hormone that produced by the pineal gland helps to control your sleep cycle okay friends this is option d is the correct answer melatonin next question move on to question number 27 opening of a wound with exposure of internal organ is called as option a dehiscence option b evisceration option c keloid formation option d echar option b is the correct answer evisceration we will see the option dehiscence means it is a partial or total separation wound edges will be there in this cases option b evisceration means surgical technique by which are the intraocular components in the removed in this procedure means in this procedure uh, inaccurate um, tissue or um, 
contents will be removed by through the surgical this is the correct answer this is the surgical procedure option c we will see the option meanings um, option c keloid formation keloid formation means when the skin is injured the fibrous tissue forms over the wound to be repaired and protect the injury next uh, what is the meaning of itchar itchar means uh, dead skin friends dead tissues sorry skin not skin dead tissues option b is the correct answer evisceration next question friends move on to question number 28 the surgery performed to estimate the extent of disease or confirmation of diagnosis called as okay friends surgery performed to estimate extent of disease or confirmation of the diagnosis option a palliative option b diagnostic option c exploratory and option d is curative option c is the correct answer exploratory we will see the meaning of palliative palliative is specialized medical care for the people living with serious illnesses friends may example cancer heart failure these all are condition kidney conditions next option b diagnostic process identify the disease condition okay friends next option c exploratory is also called as investigation procedure surgeons performed an exploratory operation this is the exploratory is a surgeon performed the exploratory operation to estimate the extent of the disease condition okay friends the option d curative curative means the able to cure in that option only is there cure curative means better they are getting better comparing to previous means option c is the correct answer next we will move to the question number 29 injection potassium has to be administered as option a intramuscular injection option b intravenous bolus option c intradermal option d intravenous with fluids actually potassium potassium is potassium chloride is a dangerous means not dangerous means if we are using more doses means it will be related to some conditions will be there intravenous with fluids is the correct answer if injected rapidly or high doses that cause will be cardiac arrest okay friends the cause will be means if we are giving in magnesium sorry potassium sulfide injection to the patient with high dose or rapidly they will be get cardiac arrest or and arrhythmia in the heart rate and cardiac arrest will be there in within a minutes not long time within a minute they will be arrested cardiac arrest we have according to doctors ad advice only we have to give actually doses will be 2 grams more than 4 grams it will be not there minimum 2 grams maximum 4 grams okay friends option d is the correct answer intravenous with fluids only we have to administer potassium potassium chloride okay friends option d is the correct answer next question number 30 i will mention 16th question in the last friends this is the 30th question the most sensitive indicator of decreased fluid volume is option a hypertension option b hypotension option c partial hypertension option d tachycardia actually in this question we know hypertension means increasing bp means increasing bp blood pressure next uh, option 2 hypotension means decreasing blood pressure Postural hypertension means the low blood pressure that happens when standing up from the sitting or any lying down positions. In option D, tachycardia means increasing the heart rate. Means here asked most sensitive indicator decrease of fluid volume means. In this postural hypertension will be volume fluid volume will be decrease means the patient will be get low bp low blood pressure in this case as standing up from the sitting and lying down, down position option c is the correct answer postural hypertension in between the questions of question number 16 is miss friends for further inconvenience automatically after 15 17 question is came okay. 16th question is during pregnancy the brownish black pigmented line zip sternum to symphysis pubis formed so this line is called as 
means brownish black pigmented line from the zip sternum symphysis pubis is called as option a stria gravidarum option b linea nigra option c caput medusa option d stria oblicans meaning here option a is a correct answer all of you know i think stria gravidarum is a atrophic liner scar present during pregnancy it starts from the between 6 to 7 months 6 and 7 months in between the pregnancy Mm, this is the option A is the correct answer, Shreya Gravidarum. We will see them actually, Shreya Gravidarum, Linea Nigra related to closeness will be there. In this Linea Nigra, some scratch mask is there in dark vertical lines, means scratch mark is, is there in the skin uh, during the pregnancy. Option A is the correct answer, Linea Nigra. Continuous question. From the 30 to 60, I will make the part 2 video, friends. Thank you for watching my video. Thank you. Please subscribe my channel. Please give a like and share. And click on the bell icon for further notification.